the whispering woods. Deep within the heart of the Appalachian Mountains lay the whispering woods, a place shrouded in mystery and whispered tales of the supernatural. It was in these woods that four friends, Alex, Sarah, Matt and Emily, decided to embark on a camping trip one fateful summer weekend. The journey began with excitement and anticipation as they ventured deeper into the dense forest, their backpacks heavy with supplies and their spirits high. They set up camp near a babbling brook, surrounded by towering trees that seemed to watch over them with silent curiosity. As night fell, a sense of unease crept over the group. The crackling of the campfire did little to dispel the feeling of being watched, and shadows danced eerily between the trees. Despite their growing apprehension, they laughed and joked, trying to push aside their growing sense of dread. It was Sarah who first heard the whispers, soft, barely audible voices that seemed to emanate from the darkness beyond the firelight. At first, she dismissed them as a trick of the wind, but as the night wore on, the whispers grew louder, more insistent. Matt scoffed at her fears, claiming it was nothing more than the rustling of leaves or the calls of nocturnal animals, but even he couldn't hide the tremor in his voice as he spoke. As the hours passed, the whispers grew more distinct, taking on a sinister tone that sent shivers down their spines. They huddled closer together, their faces pale in the flickering firelight, each of them silently wondering if they had made a grave mistake coming to this desolate place. Suddenly, the forest fell silent, the chirping of crickets ceased, and even the gentle rustling of leaves seemed to quieten. A sense of dread hung heavy in the air as they waited, breathless, for what would come next. Then, from the darkness, emerged a figure, tall and shadowy, its form flickering like a wisp of smoke. The friends gasped in horror as they watched it approach, its movements slow and deliberate. Paralyzed with fear, they could do nothing but watch as the figure drew closer, its features obscured by the darkness, and then, with a voice like ice, it spoke. Beware the woods, it whispered, its words echoing through the silent night. For here the dead do not rest easy. With that chilling warning, the figure vanished into the darkness, leaving the friends trembling with fear and disbelief. They huddled together, praying for the first light of dawn to chase away the horrors of the night. But morning brought no relief, for as they emerged from their tents, they discovered that they were no longer alone in the whispering woods. Surrounding their campsite were dozens of ghostly figures, their eyes empty and their faces twisted in agony. Terrified, the friends fled into the woods, their screams echoing through the silent trees as they ran for their lives. But no matter how far they ran, the specters pursued them, their chilling wails driving them ever deeper into the heart of the forest. And so, the Whispering Woods claimed four more victims, their fate forever entwined with the restless spirits that haunted its darkened depths. For in the heart of those ancient woods, the did do not rest easy, and those who dare to tread there do so at their own peril. The Haunting of Blackwater Lake In the heart of the Pacific Northwest, nestled between towering pines and mist-covered mountains, lay Blackwater Lake. Its tranquil surface reflected the beauty of the surrounding wilderness, but beneath its placid facade lay a dark secret that few dared to uncover. A group of Friens, eager for adventure, decided to spend a weekend camping by the shores of Blackwater Lake. Among them were Jackie, the fearless leader, Emily, his adventurous girlfriend, Mark, the practical joker, and Lisa, the skeptic who believed in science over superstition. As they set up camp by the water's edge, the air was thick with anticipation and excitement. The sun dipped below the horizon, casting an orange glow across the lake, 
and the friends gathered around the campfire to share stories and roast marshmallows. As the night wore on, a chill settled over the campsite, and the once lively atmosphere grew tense. Strange noises echoed through the trees, and shadows danced on the edge of their vision, leaving them feeling uneasy. Mark, always the prankster, decided to play a trick on his friends. He disappeared into the darkness, leaving behind a trail of eerie sounds and whispered warnings of a ghostly presence haunting the lake. At first the others laughed off Mark's antics, but as the night deepened, their laughter turned to nervous glances and hushed whispers. Emily couldn't shake the feeling of being watched, and Jake's attempts to reassure her fell on deaf ears. Suddenly, a blood-curdling scream pierced the night, sending shivers down their spines. Racing through the darkness, they found Mark standing by the water's edge, his face pale and his eyes wide with terror. He stammered out a tale of seeing a ghostly figure emerging from the depths of the lake, its eyes glowing with malevolent intent. Lisa rolled her eyes, dismissing his story as nothing more than a ploy to scare them. But as they gathered around the campfire, they heard it. A faint, mournful wail echoing across the water, sending shivers down their spines. The air grew thick with dread as they realized they were not alone in the darkness. In the flickering firelight, they caught glimpses of shadowy figures moving among the trees, their eyes glowing with an otherworldly light. Panic set in as they scrambled to pack up their belongings, desperate to escape the haunted shores of Blackwater Lake. But their efforts were in vain, for as they made their way through the forest, they found themselves trapped in a labyrinth of twisted trees and winding paths. The ghostly figures closed in around them, their anguished cries filling the night air. With nowhere left to run, they huddled together, their hearts pounding with fear as the spirits of Blackwater Lake closed in on them. And as the first light of dawn broke over the horizon, they disappeared into the mist, their fate forever entwined with the restless souls that haunted the lake's murky depths. Shadows of the Forgotten In the heart of the Mojave Desert, where the sun scorches the earth by day and the stars twinkle like diamonds in the night sky, lies an ancient canyon shrouded in mystery and darkness. It is said that the shadows of the forgotten dwell within its depths, waiting to ensnare the unwary in their web of despair. A group of friends, seeking adventure and escape from the monotony of city life, ventured into the desert to explore the secrets of the canyon. Among them were James, the thrill-seeker, Lily, his intrepid girlfriend, Max, the skeptic who believed only in what he could see, and Emma, the quiet observer who often saw what others missed. As they descended into the depths of the canyon, the temperature dropped and the air grew thick with anticipation. The walls of the canyon rose high above them, casting long shadows that seemed to reach out with grasping fingers. Night fell quickly, and the friends set up camp beneath the star-studded sky, their laughter mingling with the gentle rustle of the desert breeze. But as the fire crackled and the shadows danced, a sense of unease settled over the group. Lily was the first to notice the strange occurrences, a flicker of movement at the edge of her vision, a whisper of voices on the wind. She brushed them off as tricks of the mind, but as the night wore on, the whispers grew louder, more insistent. Max scoffed at her fears, attributing them to the isolation of the desert and the overactive imagination of his friends. But even he couldn't shake the feeling of being watched, of something lurking just beyond the reach of their campfire's glow. As the hours passed, the whispers grew more distinct, taking on a sinister tone that sent shivers down their spines. They huddled together, their faces pale in the moonlight, each of them silently wondering if they had stumbled upon something beyond their understanding. Suddenly, a darkness swept over the canyon, 
blotting out the stars and plunging them into total blackness. The friends gasped in horror as shadowy figures emerged from the darkness, their forms twisting and contorting in unnatural ways. Paralyzed with fear, they could do nothing but watch as the shadows closed in around them, their whispers growing louder with each passing moment. James reached for his flashlight, but it flickered and died in his hand, leaving them defenseless against the encroaching darkness. With a cry of terror, they fled into the night, their footsteps echoing off the canyon walls as they raced to escape the shadows that pursued them. But no matter how fast they ran, the darkness followed, its icy grip tightening with each passing moment. And so, the canyon claimed four more victims, their fate forever entwined with the shadows of the forgotten that dwelled within its depths. For in the heart of the desert where the sun's rays cannot reach, the darkness reigns supreme, and those who dare to venture there do so at their own peril. The Curse of Willow Creek in the heart of the dense Appalachian forest, where the trees whispered ancient secrets and the mist hung heavy in the air, lay a forgotten town by the name of Willow Creek. Once a thriving community, it had fallen into decay and ruin after a series of tragic events that left its residents haunted by the past. A group of friends, drawn by tales of the town's dark history, decided to embark on a camping trip to explore the ruins of Willow Creek. Among them were Adam, the adventurous leader, Jenna, his inquisitive girlfriend, David, the history buff fascinated by the supernatural, and Rachel, the skeptic who believed in logic above all else. As they journeyed deeper into the forest, the atmosphere grew heavy with anticipation and unease. The trees seemed to close in around them, casting long shadows that danced in the flickering light of their lanterns. Night fell as they reached the outskirts of Willow Creek, the moon casting an eerie glow over the crumbling buildings and overgrown streets. The air was thick with the scent of decay, and a sense of foreboding settled over the group as they made camp in the shadow of the town's once grand church. As they sat around the campfire, sharing stories and theories about the town's tragic past, a chill wind swept through the forest, extinguishing the flames and plunging them into darkness. Jenna shivered, her instincts telling her that they were not alone in the night. Suddenly, a voice echoed through the darkness, cold and malevolent. Leave this place, it whispered, sending shivers down their spines, or suffer the same fate as those who came before you. Adam laughed, dismissing the voice as nothing more than a trick of the wind, but Jenna's blood ran cold as she remembered the story she had heard about the curse that supposedly plagued Willow Creek, a curse that condemned its inhabitants to an eternity of suffering and despair. As the night wore on, strange things began to happen. Shadows moved in the corners of their vision, whispers echoed through the empty streets, and the temperature dropped until their breath hung in the air like mist. David, ever the skeptic, tried to rationalize the phenomena, attributing them to natural causes and overactive imaginations, but even he couldn't explain away the feeling of being watched, of something lurking just beyond the edge of their perception. With each passing hour, the sense of dread grew stronger, until it was almost suffocating. Rachel, the voice of reason, suggested they pack up and leave, but Adam was determined to uncover the truth behind Willow Creek's curse, no matter the cost, and so they pressed on delving deeper into the heart of the abandoned town, their lanterns casting long shadows that seemed to reach out to them with grasping fingers. But the deeper they ventured, the more the town seemed to come alive, its haunted past bleeding into the present with every step they took. Suddenly they stumbled upon a hidden graveyard, its headstones weathered and worn with age. David's eyes widened with excitement as he realized they had stumbled upon the final resting place of Willow Creek's cursed inhabitants. But their excitement turned to horror 
as they heard the sound of unearthly wails echoing through the night. Ghostly figures emerged from the darkness, their eyes empty and their faces twisted in agony. With a cry of terror, the friends turned and fled, their hearts pounding with fear as they raced to escape the cursed town. But no matter how fast they ran, the ghosts pursued them, their anguished cries echoing in their ears. As they emerged from the forest, their bodies bruised and battered, they vowed never to return to Willow Creek again. For in the heart of that forsaken town, the curse of the past still lingered, waiting to ensnare any who dared to uncover its secrets. And though they escaped with their lives, they knew that they would never truly be free from the shadows that haunted their dreams. The Labyrinthine Isle Far out in the Pacific Ocean, where the waves crash against towering cliffs and the cries of seabirds echo through the mist, lies an island shrouded in mystery and danger. Known to sailors as the Labyrinthine Isle, it is said to be cursed, its treacherous waters and twisting maze of caves claiming the lives of all who dare to venture too close. A group of explorers, drawn by tales of hidden treasure and ancient ruins, set sail for the Labyrinthine Isle aboard their small yacht. Among them were Jack, the charismatic leader with a thirst for adventure, Amelia, his determined partner with a keen eye for detail, Thomas, the stoic navigator who kept the ship on course, and Sophia, the fearless archaeologist driven by a desire to uncover the island's secrets. As they approached the island, ominous storm clouds gathered on the horizon, casting a shadow over their expedition. But Jack was undeterred, his eyes alight with excitement as he plotted their course through the treacherous waters. The yacht sailed into a narrow inlet, the cliffs looming overhead like ancient sentinels guarding a long-forgotten secret. The waters grew rougher, and Thomas struggled to keep the ship on course as they navigated through the swirling currents. As they rounded a rocky outcrop, they spotted a narrow beach nestled between the cliffs, a sliver of sandy shore beckoning them to land. With a sense of anticipation, they dropped anchor and rowed ashore, their feet sinking into the soft sand as they set foot on the island for the first time. The air was thick with the scent of salt and seaweed, and a sense of foreboding settled over the group as they made their way inland. The island was shrouded in mist, its rugged terrain stretching out before them like a labyrinth of twists and turns. Undeterred, they pressed on, their eyes scanning the horizon for any sign of the hidden treasure they had come to find. But as the hours passed, they found themselves hopelessly lost in the maze-like landscape, their maps and compasses useless against the island's ever-shifting terrain. Night fell, and with it came a sense of dread that hung heavy in the air. Strange noises echoed through the darkness, and shadows danced on the edge of their vision, leaving them feeling uneasy. Amelia was the first to notice the strange carvings etched into the walls of the caves they passed, symbols of an ancient civilization long since forgotten. Thomas tried to decipher their meaning, but his efforts were in vain as the symbols seemed to shift and change before his eyes. With each passing hour, the sense of unease grew stronger until it was almost palpable. Sophia ever the optimist, tried to reassure the group that they would find their way out of the maze, but her words rang hollow in the oppressive darkness. Suddenly they stumbled upon a hidden chamber deep within the heart of the island, its walls adorned with glittering jewels and golden artifacts. Jack's eyes widened with greed as he realized they had found the legendary treasure of the Labyrinthian Isle. But their joy turned to horror as they heard the sound of something stirring in the shadows. Ghostly figures emerged from the darkness, their eyes gleaming with malice as they advanced on the intruders. With a cry of terror, the group turned and fled, their hearts pounding with fear as they raced to escape the cursed island. But no matter how fast they ran, the labyrinth seemed to stretch out endlessly before them, 
its twisting passages leading them ever deeper into the heart of darkness. As dawn broke over the horizon, they stumbled out of the caves and onto the beach, their bodies bruised and battered from their ordeal. The yacht bobbed in the distance, a beacon of hope in the vast expanse of the ocean. With a sense of relief, they boarded the ship and set sail for home, leaving the cursed island behind them. But as they looked back one last time, they knew that the labyrinthine isle would forever hold a place in their nightmares, its secrets destined to remain hidden beneath the waves for eternity. The Forgotten Citadel In the heart of the Amazon rainforest, where the canopy blocks out the sun and the sounds of wildlife fill the air, lies a hidden citadel lost to the annals of time. Known only to a select few, it is said to hold untold riches and ancient secrets, guarded by the spirits of those who once called it home. A team of explorers, led by the renowned archaeologist Dr. Benjamin Hayes, set out to uncover the truth behind the legend of the Forgotten Citadel. Among them was Sarah, his ambitious assistant eager to prove herself, Michael, the rugged survivalist with a deep respect for the jungle, and Emma, the historian with a passion for unravelling the mysteries of the past. Their journey began in the bustling city of Manaus, where they gathered supplies and prepared for the arduous trek ahead. As they ventured deeper into the rainforest, the air grew thick with humidity and the sounds of civilization faded into the distance. Days turned into weeks as they hacked their way through the dense undergrowth, their progress slow and arduous. But with each step, their excitement grew, fueled by the promise of discovery that lay ahead. At long last, they stumbled upon the ruins of an ancient civilization hidden deep within the jungle, its crumbling walls obscured by layers of moss and vines. Dr. Hayes's eyes lit up with excitement as he realized they had found the entrance to the forgotten citadel. As they explored the ruins, they uncovered evidence of a highly advanced society that had flourished centuries ago, its architecture and artifacts hinting at a civilization far ahead of its time. But as night fell, a sense of unease settled over the group, and whispers of a curse that plagued the citadel began to circulate. Undeterred, they pressed on their lanterns casting long shadows that danced across the crumbling walls. But with each passing hour, the jungle seemed to come alive with unseen eyes watching their every move and strange noises echoing through the darkness. Sarah was the first to notice the strange carvings etched into the walls of the citadel, symbols of an ancient language that had long since been forgotten. Michael tried to decipher their meaning, but his efforts were in vain, as the symbols seemed to twist and morph before his eyes. With each passing day, the sense of unease grew stronger, until it was almost suffocating. Dr. Hayes, ever the optimist, tried to reassure the group that they were close to uncovering the truth behind the Citadel's secrets, but his words rang hollow in the oppressive silence. Suddenly, they stumbled upon a hidden chamber deep within the heart of the citadel, its walls adorned with glittering jewels and golden artifacts. Their eyes widened with greed as they realized they had found the legendary treasure they had been searching for. But their joy turned to horror as they heard the sound of something stirring in the shadows. Ghostly figures emerged from the darkness, their eyes gleaming with malice as they advanced on the intruders. With a cry of terror, the group turned and fled, their hearts pounding with fear as they raced to escape the cursed citadel. But no matter how fast they ran, the jungle seemed to stretch out endlessly before them, its twisted vines and tangled roots ensnaring them at every turn. As dawn broke over the horizon, they stumbled out of the jungle and onto the banks of the mighty Amazon River, their bodies bruised and battered from their ordeal. 
The sounds of wildlife filled the air once more, a stark reminder of the dangers that lurked within the depths of the rainforest. With a sense of relief, they boarded their boat and set sail for home, leaving the forgotten citadel behind them. But as they looked back one last time, they knew that the secrets of the jungle would forever hold a place in their nightmares, its mysteries destined to remain hidden from the world for eternity. The Whispering Mountains In the rugged wilderness of the Rockies, where the peaks scrape the sky and the valleys echo with the songs of the wind, lies a range of mountains shrouded in mystery and dread. They are known to the locals as the Whispering Mountains, where the rocks whisper secrets of the past and the spirits of the Ancient Ones still roam. A group of friends, drawn by tales of adventure and the lure of the unknown, embarked on a hiking expedition into the heart of the Whispering Mountains. Among them were Alex, the intrepid leader with a thirst for discovery, Sarah, his loyal companion with a deep connection to the natural world, Max, the skeptical scientist who believed only in what he could see, and Emily, the dreamer who saw magic in every corner of the earth. Their journey began at the base of the mountains, where they set out with backpacks laden with supplies and hearts full of anticipation. The trail wound its way through dense forests and rugged terrain, the air growing thinner with each step they took. As they ascended into the heart of the mountains, the landscape changed around them, the trees giving way to towering cliffs and jagged peaks. The wind whispered through the rocky crags, carrying with it an otherworldly chill that sent shivers down their spines. Night fell quickly in the shadow of the mountains, and the friends made camp beneath the starlit sky, their faces illuminated by the flickering glow of the campfire, but as they sat around the flames, swapping stories and sharing laughter, a sense of unease settled over the group. Sarah was the first to notice the strange phenomena, a flicker of movement at the edge of her vision, a whisper of voices carried on the wind. She brushed them off as tricks of the mind, but as the night wore on, the whispers grew louder, more insistent. Max scoffed at her fears, attributing them to the isolation of the wilderness and the overactive imagination of his friends. But even he couldn't shake the feeling of being watched, of something lurking just beyond the reach of their campfire's glow. As the hours passed, the whispers grew more distinct, taking on a sinister tone that sent shivers down their spines. They huddled together, their faces pale in the moonlight, each of them silently wondering if they had stumbled upon something beyond their understanding. Suddenly, a darkness swept over the mountains, blotting out the stars and plunging them into total blackness. The friends gasped in horror as shadowy figures emerged from the darkness, their forms twisting and contorting in unnatural ways. Paralyzed with fear, they could do nothing but watch as the shadows closed in around them, their whispers growing louder with each passing moment. Alex reached for his flashlight, but it flickered and died in his hand, leaving them defenseless against the encroaching darkness. With a cry of terror, they fled into the night, their footsteps echoing off the rocky walls as they raced to escape the whispering mountains. But no matter how far they ran, the shadows pursued them, their anguished cries driving them ever deeper into the heart of the mountains. And so, the whispering mountains claimed four more victims, their fate forever entwined with the restless spirits that haunted its rocky peaks. For in the heart of those ancient mountains, the dead do not rest easy, and those who dare to tread there do so at their own peril. Island of Elysium In the vast expanse of the South Pacific Ocean, where the turquoise waters stretch as far as the eye can see, and the sun casts its golden rays upon untouched shores, lies an island veiled in mystery and wonder. 
Known only as Elysium, it is said to be a place of unparalleled beauty and unsolved enigmas, where the boundaries between reality and myth blur into oblivion. A group of explorers, driven by curiosity and the promise of adventure, set sail for the fabled island of Elysium aboard their sturdy vessel. Among them were Captain William, the seasoned seafarer with a heart for discovery, Lily, his spirited first mate whose keen instincts guided their journey, Ethan, the ambitious cartographer seeking to map uncharted territories, and Sophia, the enigmatic archaeologist drawn by whispers of ancient civilizations lost to time. Their voyage began under clear skies and favorable winds, the sails billowing as they charted a course into uncharted waters. Days turned into weeks as they braved the unpredictable currents of the ocean, their excitement growing with each passing day. At long last, the silhouette of land appeared on the horizon, its lush greenery and towering cliffs a testament to the untamed beauty of Elysium. The crew cheered as they dropped anchor in the tranquil waters of the island's natural harbour, their eyes alight with anticipation as they prepared to set foot on land. As they stepped ashore, they were greeted by a paradise, unlike any they had ever seen. The air was thick with the scent of tropical flowers, and the sound of exotic birds filled the air with their melodious songs. But beneath the surface of paradise lurked an air of mystery, an inexplicable feeling that they were not alone on the island. Undeterred, they set out to explore the island's hidden wonders, their footsteps echoing through dense jungles and across pristine beaches. Everywhere they looked, they found evidence of a civilization long forgotten, a crumbling temple hidden in the heart of the jungle, a network of caves adorned with ancient carvings and artifacts of exquisite craftsmanship scattered among the undergrowth. But with each discovery came a sense of unease, a feeling that they were intruding upon something sacred and forbidden. Lily's instincts warned her of hidden dangers lurking in the shadows, while Ethan's maps revealed patterns and anomalies that defied logical explanation. As night fell, the island seemed to come alive with unseen forces, its secrets whispered on the breeze and hidden in the depths of the jungle. Sophia, ever the seeker of truth, delved deeper into the mysteries of Elysium, a research uncovering legends of a lost civilization and a powerful artifact said to hold the key to unlocking its secrets. But their quest for knowledge soon turned perilous, as they found themselves hunted by forces beyond their comprehension. Shadows danced on the edges of their vision, and strange noises echoed through the darkness, leaving them feeling exposed and vulnerable in the heart of paradise. With each passing day, the island seemed to ensnare them further in its grasp, its beauty masking a darkness that threatened to consume them whole. Captain William, ever the stalwart leader, tried to rally his crew and lead them to safety. But even he could not deny the allure of Elysium's mysteries, and so they pressed on, their journey taking them deeper into the heart of the island and closer to the truth that lay hidden within its depths. But as they uncovered the secrets of Elysium, they realized that some mysteries were better left unsolved and that the price of knowledge could be far greater than they ever imagined. As they sailed away from the island, their minds haunted by the memories of their ordeal, they knew that Elysium would forever hold a place in their hearts as a place of wonder and danger, beauty and terror. A place where the line between reality and myth blurred into oblivion, and where the true nature of paradise remained shrouded in mystery. The Eternal Forest Deep within the heart of the Blackwood Forest, where ancient trees stand sentinel and the whispers of forgotten spirits linger on the breeze, lies a realm untouched by time. It is known as the Eternal Forest, a place where the boundary between the living and the dead grows thin, 
and the secrets of the past intertwine with the present. A group of adventurers, captivated by tales of the forest's mystical properties, embarked on a quest to unravel its mysteries. Among them were Jonathan, the intrepid explorer with a thirst for knowledge, Isabella, his daring companion with a keen intuition, Marcus, the skeptical scientist seeking rational explanations, and Olivia, the enigmatic medium who communed with the spirits of the beyond. Their journey began at the edge of the forest, where towering trees loomed overhead like guardians of a forgotten realm. The air was thick with the scent of pine and moss, and a sense of foreboding settled over the group as they ventured deeper into the shadows. As they traversed the winding paths of the forest, they encountered strange phenomena, mysterious lights flickering in the distance, eerie whispers carried on the wind, and glimpses of shadowy figures darting between the trees. Isabella's instincts warned her of hidden dangers lurking in the darkness, while Marcus tried to rationalize the inexplicable occurrences with scientific theories. But Olivia, with her connection to the spirit world, sensed a deeper truth, a presence that watched their every move, its intentions shrouded in mystery. She warned the group of the forest's otherworldly nature, urging caution as they delved deeper into its depths. As night fell, the forest seemed to come alive with unseen forces, its ancient trees casting long shadows that danced in the moonlight. The adventurers made camp beneath the canopy, their senses heightened by the eerie atmosphere that surrounded them, but their respite was short-lived, as they were soon besieged by visions and nightmares that seemed to seep into their minds from the very fabric of the forest itself. Jonathan saw glimpses of a forgotten civilization, its ruins hidden among the trees. Isabella heard the anguished cries of lost souls echoing through the darkness. Marcus witnessed strange phenomena that defied scientific explanation, challenging his beliefs to their core. And Olivia, with her connection to the spirit world, communed with the ghosts of the forest, their voices whispering secrets of the past and warnings of the future. She sensed a malevolent presence lurking in the shadows, its hunger for souls driving it to desperate lengths to ensnare the unwary. With each passing hour, the adventurers felt the forest's grip tightening around them, its ancient magic drawing them deeper into its web of deception and despair. They struggled to maintain their sanity in the face of overwhelming darkness, their minds clouded by fear and uncertainty. But even as they faced the greatest challenges of their lives, they refused to abandon their quest for answers. Together, they braved the perils of the eternal forest, confronting their deepest fears and uncovering the truth that lay hidden within its tangled depths. And when they emerged from the forest's embrace, weary and battered but wiser for their ordeal, they knew that they had glimpsed a world beyond mortal comprehension, a realm where the boundaries between reality and myth blurred into oblivion, and where the true nature of existence remained forever shrouded in mystery. The Cursed City of Eldoria In the heart of a vast desert, where the sands stretch endlessly under the scorching sun, and the winds whisper ancient secrets, lies a city lost to time. It is known as Eldoria, a once glorious metropolis, now shrouded in darkness and cursed by the sins of its past. A team of adventurers, drawn by tales of untold riches and the allure of forbidden knowledge, set out to uncover the mysteries of Eldoria. Among them were Captain Richard, the bold leader with a thirst for adventure. Amelia, his resourceful first mate skilled in deciphering ancient texts. Dr. Edward, the brilliant archaeologist driven by a desire to uncover the truth. And Lily, the fearless explorer whose intuition guided their journey. Their quest began at the edge of the desert, where they braved the blistering heat and treacherous dunes in search of the fabled city. Guided by ancient maps and cryptic legends, they pressed on, 
their spirits undaunted by the challenges that lay ahead. As they journeyed deeper into the desert, they encountered obstacles at every turn, sandstorms that threatened to swallow them whole, mirages that led them astray, and the relentless sun beating down upon them with unrelenting fury. But with each hardship, their resolve only grew stronger, fueled by the promise of discovery that lay just beyond the horizon. At long last, they stumbled upon the ruins of Eldoria, its once grand buildings now crumbling and decaying under the weight of centuries. The air was thick with the scent of dust and decay, and a sense of foreboding settled over the group as they made their way through the deserted streets. As they explored the ruins, they uncovered evidence of a once thriving civilization that had been consumed by darkness. Dr. Edward's keen eye spotted hieroglyphics etched into the walls, telling of a city ruled by a tyrant king who had unleashed a great evil upon his people. But it was Lily who sensed the true nature of Eldoria, a city cursed by the sins of its past, its streets haunted by the restless spirits of those who had perished within its walls. She warned the group of the dangers that lurked in the shadows, urging caution as they delved deeper into the heart of the city. As night fell, the ruins of Eldoria came alive with unseen forces, its dark secrets whispered on the wind and hidden in the depths of its labyrinthine streets. Captain Richard's instincts told him that they were being watched, while Amelia's sharp eyes caught glimpses of shadowy figures darting between the buildings. But it was Dr. Edward who uncovered the most chilling revelation of all, a hidden chamber deep beneath the city, its walls adorned with forbidden symbols and arcane artifacts. He sensed a great power lurking within the chamber, a power that had been sealed away for centuries, but now threatened to break free. With each passing moment, the curse of Eldoria grew stronger, its malevolent influence seeping into the minds of the adventurers and twisting their thoughts with doubt and despair. But even as they faced the darkest of trials, they refused to abandon their quest for answers, determined to uncover the truth behind the city's downfall. And so they pressed on, their journey taking them deeper into the heart of darkness and closer to the source of Eldoria's curse. But as they delved deeper into the city's secrets, they realized that some mysterious were better left unsolved, and that the price of knowledge could be far greater than they ever imagined. In the end, only Captain Richard and Lily emerged from the ruins of Eldoria, their bodies battered and their spirits broken by the horrors they had witnessed. As they made their way back across the desert, they knew that they would carry the weight of Eldoria's curse with them for the rest of their days, a reminder of the dangers that lurk in the shadows and the price of tampering with forces beyond mortal comprehension.